right. Hi, everybody. Humble George here. Gonna do another review of the Austin Motor uh, 1500. And I got the short distance glasses on. That's okay. Um, nice day. 15th of June, 2024. It's got over 2,000 miles on it. Gonna get out in just a few seconds. I had to make sure my little uh, machine was gonna work for me. So let's go. Let's do it. Guys, that's what I logged in two years. Kind of an elaborate setup I've got today for this uh, little two-year review of my uh, steer motor. Uh, what is happy little, very quiet wheels. Now you can start to see that there is some some wear and tear as you'd expect after two years, but uh, we're in good shape, and we got one hell of an elaborate system here. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, but I hope it works. I've got, I had to use the Kevlar helmet in order to have a mount for the uh, old iPhone, which is only good now for a camera. So we're going to hope for the best. And, uh, hey, I got some good reviews on the last one. So we're going to go have some fun. This time you can actually hear me when I speak. All right, come on, let's do this thing. We're going to have some fun. A little winky blinkies on there. Nobody's coming. We're in safe, safe harbor. Let's get up to third assist, seventh gear, and we are on our way. Beautiful. What a nice day for this. There we are, 21 miles an hour. Scooting right along like a champ. 15th of June, Father's Day's tomorrow. Well, praise the Lord. Watch how close we come to these. There we are. Man, the smell of the grapes is wonderful. Yep. I'm glad I got these mirrors. I don't usually like to go out on a Saturday, Sunday morning when everybody's recovering and hung over. It's a better time to go, but we're out here. I like to use the shoulder of the road. Give me a little more chance of survival. You know, sometimes you see bicyclists and they're arrogant and they want to be right in the road. And that's a good way to get hurt and end up in the hospital. If somebody's checking their cell phone, all of a sudden, boom, this asshole stopped into the ditch. All right. Well, I got thinking, guys. I'm not going to take you right around the lake like I usually do because we've done that. We're going to do something a little different. I'm not going to go as far but I think you're gonna really like it. It's one of these impromptu type of deals. They're usually turn out more fun anyway. You know, the old saying, best laid plans of mice and men go astray. Well, there's truth to that. A few marriages do the same thing. All right, look at these guys having fun. Good fortune to you guys. Ah, he must look like friggin' G.I. Joe from 1990. It's all right, God bless them. Our servicemen deserve a blessing. That's kind of a fucked up deal. Uh, there's another one. How do you like that? That's interesting. Is blew the whole end of this fucker off. 
That shit happens. Yeah, old Trump of us. Sure hope we get him back. I'd like to go back to law and order again. This fucking insanity is ridiculous. All right. Well, still 20 miles an hour. Plenty fast enough. Scooting right along nice. Very pleasant. Little rabbit just ran. I'm just coasting now. A lawn carcass. Now, as far as the angle of the camera, I can only hope and pray right now that it works. I don't want to be staring at the road, but I don't want to be looking at the sky either. We'll cover some nice territory. I think you'll like it. One of the blessings of being out here. Really nice bicycle. Now before I had these new tires put on, you would hear the sound of the wheels going around. Now I doubt you hear it at all. There we go. Nice view of the mountains. Well, they're mountains for us. Even for a Saturday morning, you can see there's not been a lot of traffic, if any, which is nice. Look at the corn coming up. They say knee high by 4th of July. Well, well, maybe it will be. It's a light winter. Thank God. When we had to play the plow bill twice, Nice valley, isn't it? What do you think of this? Let me know in the comments. I like to read the comments. It's nice. And speaking of comments, I got more comments on this austere motor thing than on any of my Assetto Corsa stuff. By a lot. So the two-year review, guys. Two-year review. We're scooting like a champ. Now, I will tell you that after two years, and 2,946 miles, the battery has degraded some. Not terrible, but some. I made it just around the lake yesterday. As Soon as I started up my driveway, it shit the bed. I mean, total blackout. There was no, uh, nothing to say about it. And it took a while to charge. I think it's taken seven hours now rather than six. But that's a, oh, that battery has gone a long ways. 
I may have to see if I can order a new one to keep this going. And maybe what I'll do is uh, charge both of them, put one in the backpack, and now I've got some range. Just switch them out when you get out a ways. And uh, maybe that would be a way to get farther on a nice, nice ride in the country. So, if, it'll take me about 30 miles, I guess. Round trip, 15 in each direction. That might be worthwhile. Because you know, you don't want to take the same way every time. Hi, buddy. Yeah, they're good kids. Uh, that gets, you know, monotonous. Expands your horizons. That's what I say. I see a car coming in the rearview mirror. I think it is anyway. We'll know in a minute. Why, I like to hug right over here. Give it every chance not to harm you. Yeah, it's definitely a car coming behind me. It's almost on me. These mirrors do work great. They're well, good investment. Good morning, partner. A YouTube video in progress. Nice people out here. Real Americans. Patriots. Common sense type of people. Reality. God first, then family, then anything else beyond that. You get it out of order, how do you like what we got now? Total crock of shit. All right. <clears throat> So, hello, look at these good kids. Hello, good kids. Ah, how nice. Gave me plenty of room. God bless you. Well, what we're going to do is continue on. There goes a little red squirrel. Keep going, buddy. Hello, kid. Going to go right past this one here to the next one. That's going to give us a real nice view of the valley coming back the other way. As you can see, I'm not breathing hard. It's not bad. It's a nice cool morning, thank God. Well, 60 degrees, I would say. Might have wore pants, that would have been a better idea, other than shorts, but I'm glad it is cold, because with this jacket on, I would have roasted yesterday. All right, we ain't got too much farther, and we'll be taking that right-hander on Masters Road. Yeah, see, you can see the sign up ahead. These tires are nice. Even those little bumps and stuff, nothing to it. Now, I don't know if anybody's still watching the video, if it's going to be this long, but thank you for watching. I've been at this a while. I still... I just love to get one of them plaques on the wall, you know? It says Humble George Channel, but heck, I'm only halfway there. And I've been doing this since 2016. Help me out, guys. 
the likes and uh, and the comments really help. The subscriptions ain't too shabby neither. Oh look, brand new road. Ho oh, ho, check this out. I didn't know we'd come upon this. Hey, this is nice. What do you think? Free wheeling guys, 77% battery on the e-bike. We are kicking ass. 30 miles an hour, 31, 33, 34. We're kicking ass. Check this out. Wow. It's like a brand new Assetto Corsa track. I'm loving it. I didn't know this was the case. This is nice. Check out that mountain. What do you think, guys? This is the way to do it. Out here in the friggin' boonies. Where hillbillies are still held in high regard. And sheep run like hell. <laughs> All right, oh, check this shit out. Look at the sun. This, this should be a nice video if it's, if it's at all in the proper orientation, which I hope it is. Did I stop and check? Well, you know how men are. They just keep going and hope for the best. All right. I will check when I get up to the top of this hill here at this rise. We got 77% it says, but when I stop pedaling, we'll get another reading, and undoubtedly it'll be less. Now at a seventh gear, uh, my ass is doing the pushing now. Whew, it's all right though. Just gonna get up a little farther. Look at the Orioles, beautiful. I hope you saw them. I hope you did, all right. Let's get up here where it's safe and I'll check that camera and uh, take a pee pee, which is something that needs to happen also. All right, let's check this out. Oh, Marina. Uh, 72% battery. All righty, guys, I'll be right with you. Well, here we are, we're home. Just came off of red at 27% and got up to 31 on its own. But there's our mileage. I'll have to check what it was in the beginning. But we're home from the journey this morning. And uh, as I say, take a good look at it. Now, I probably shouldn't have greased and oiled, well, oiled the gears as much as I did, but you know, what is it? And uh, there she is, though. Little puppy, two years, still toting me down the road. It's in good shape still. Uh, look at the pedals, huh? They're worn, man. Yes, they work, though. It's like a champ. This is an old top to a pot I, I used to keep the grease off me. And where do you, I'm going to show you the, the story behind this here. This is quite amazing. Um, let's see. All right, hang on a minute. I got to get everything squared away. Take a look at this get up. Now my glasses are fogging up terrible, but take a look at this. This is what it takes to get you the video. I got the cable to the microphone down in the air, and uh, you can see the high phone six up above. Thank God I bought this back in the 90s. Uh, it's a real Kevlar helmet. Man, is these, uh, these are real German tank commander glasses. All right, let's go see what I want to show you next. Come on. There we go. Get the little critter plugged in. Now, six hours or so from now, we'll be ready to go again. Okay, take a good look at the spacing of these holes in this piece of aluminum. One, two, three. Okay. Now, come on with me. This stud driver my dad bought the plans for and built and patented back in the early 60s. And I want you to take a look at the spacing of these holes. 
what do you think the chances were that in the 60s, dad would drill those holes exactly, not even close, but exactly the same as these three right here. Well, I about fainted when I saw that that was the case. Those holes were exact, exact for the Armatus, exact. I didn't have to drill a hole. They just absolutely every one of them fit. What do you think? Hope you enjoyed the video. Humble George signing out for now. Bye-bye.